Good morning, friends. Derek Doherty here. Hope you're having a great day in the Lord. Welcome to the Daily Devotional. Hope, hope you're having a good day thus far. This morning, I want to ask the question, where is heaven? Ever think about that? Where is heaven? I know that sometimes we get confused, whether with a map or with a GPS, on just exactly where we are, let alone where is heaven. It's not like we can type it into our GPS. It's not like we're we're given coordinates. Our scripture passage, Luke chapter 22, verse 29. And I confer on you a kingdom, just as my Father confirmed one on me. Amen. This morning I'm using a devotional by the Reverend Dr. Billy Graham as a guide for our conversation. Many people have asked the question of where is heaven? And friends, the scriptures do not tell us exactly where heaven is. Some have tried to splice this scripture and splice this scripture and put them together and line it up and say heaven must be there. For example, they look at Psalm 48 verse 2 and they knit things together there and think that heaven must be in the north. But I don't think that's a, a proper handling of the scriptures. The honest answer, friends, is we do not know where heaven is. But no matter where heaven is, we know that Jesus is there. Many people ask, is heaven a literal place? Yes. It's just not like what we experience here on earth. Jesus said in John chapter 14, I go to prepare a place for you. The Bible teaches of Enoch and Elijah ascending in a literal body to a literal place, just as if that Jesus was also ascending to New York City, to London, to Gaza City, to Kerch, Ukraine. The Bible also teaches that heaven will be a place of beauty. It's described in the Bible as a building of God a city, a better country, an inheritance, a glory, no more pain or suffering. The old order is gone and the new has come. This heaven is different in a great way than what we know here and now. After all, in heaven, God is there and there is no sin there. We have not experienced the full presence of God and the full absence of, of sin here and now. But we will one day when our address is in that new place, in that place of heaven with God forever. The Bible also indicates that heaven will be a place of great understanding and knowledge of things that we've never learned here. So friends, we also pray your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I believe, friends, that somehow in a special way we can get glimpses, we can get tastes, we can get uh, previews of heaven even while we are here. Think of it as like a Venn diagram. We've got earth, we've got life as we know it, we've got heaven, and when we step in line with God's will, when we are doing things as God wants us to do, we have an overlap. And that overlap, I believe, is the heaven on earth that we speak of. It's not that we're bringing the, 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 the heaven to earth in a radical way, no but we're bringing the realities together. There is so much more that we could talk about this, friends, but not today. So friends, heaven, real place, literal place. It's a place where we know that God will be, where sin will not be. And it is also somehow in a special way, something we, that we can experience in the here and now. Let's pray. Lord our God, we give you thanks.
your goodness. We give you thanks that you alone are God. We give you thanks that you are the one who left your throne in heaven and humbled yourself in human form here on earth so that we too could reside there with you in that new place that you're making for us. Help us, Lord, to experience your peace, your joy, your understanding here on earth so that heaven and earth, that they may converge together. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you that we are your precious children. In your holy and wonderful name we pray. Amen. Peace and God's blessings, friends. Have a great day. Bye for now.